10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift up. One propulsion nominal. There goes Electron, a beautiful liftoff there for Live Left Launch, now on its way to orbit. Electron is quickly picking up its speed and altitude and approaching a crucial moment in launch that we call Max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is when the atmospheric forces on the vehicle are at their peak. That's right, and we're standing by now for the call from Mission Control that we have successfully navigated this phase. Cleared Max Q. AGB discharge nominal. And that's confirmation from Mission Control that Electron has successfully passed through Max-Q. All data is looking nominal so far and the rocket speed and altitude are right on target. Next up will be first stage separation and MECO or main one, engine cutoff. Electron's first stage is powered by nine Rutherford engine that as Sam mentioned will soon power down in preparation for MECO. Once that's complete, the first and second stages of Electron will separate, allowing Electron to drop the first stage that it no longer needs. Next, the single vacuum-optimized Rutherford engine on the second stage will ignite so that it can propel the second stage and the payload to its orbital destination. These actions are coming up in just a few moments, so let's check them out. Fifteen seconds to staging. Injured burnout detect mode. Miko confirmed. Stage two. Mm -hmm. A beautiful engine light up for the second stage Rutherford, powering the mission now at more than 8,000 kilometers per hour and 93 kilometers in altitude. Now that we've dropped the dead weight of the first stage next to separate will be Electron's fairing halves from the top of the second stage. That will expose the payload attached to the kick stage to space for the very first time. Always a really exciting moment in the mission. Let's listen in now to mission control and keep an eye out for those two fairing halves to fall fairing away. Fairing jettison confirmed. And there they go, the fairings have been jettisoned away right on schedule at T plus three minutes into flight. AGB discharge holding nominal. We're cruising now over 9,000 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 142 kilometers. We've got about five minutes left on the second stage's engine burn time. Now, next up will be key milestones for Electron called Battery Hot Swap, which we'll see shortly. Stage two propulsion holding nominal.
The engine nozzle on your screen there belongs to Electron's Stage 2 Rutherford engine, an engine that is very unique. The pumps that feed propellant into the combustion chamber are powered by electric motors and high voltage batteries. This cuts down on much of the complex machinery required for gas powered engines, meaning that the Rutherford is simpler to build than a traditional engine, but it is also fiercely efficient with a 90% efficiency. That's right, and since the second stage's journey lasts for longer than the batteries it started with, Electron has to swap to a fresh set along the way. This has the added benefit, of course, of reducing mass and increasing performance for the rest of the flight when those old battery packs fall away. Now, coming up in just a few moments will be that milestone, which we call the hot swap. If you look closely, you should be able to see that the first pack of batteries jettison away from the second stage. Let's listen in to Mission Control now. Guidance is nominal, 200 seconds remaining. HUB discharge, all the nominal, approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. Throttling down. Battery jettison confirmed. Confirm all swat successful. Excellent call State out there, and thank you to those batteries for their service onward and upward for Live Laugh Launch. Electron's Rutherford engine is powering on bright and beautiful with the vehicle's velocity now at more than 16,600 kilometers per hour and getting closer to its required altitude now at more than 198 kilometers above Earth. Next up, we have our second engine cutoff, or SECO, where the second stage engine will power down to prepare for kick stage separation. HUB discharge holding nominal. Now, typically, an electron journey from the launch pad to the mission's target altitude takes less than 10 minutes total. Right now, we are about seven minutes into Electron's 70th flight, so we have only a few more minutes to go until this phase of the mission is complete. So far, everything is proceeding nominally, and our current speed is right on target at about 21,000 kilometers per hour. The nozzle on the Stage 2 Rutherford is glowing strong and we are about 195 kilometers in altitude and climbing towards our, dropping towards our perigee and the views from space aren't bad either. The second stage will soon be towards the end of its journey, where it will throttle down and shut off Guidance in time to allow for the kick stage and its payload right. to separate. That's right, and after second engine cutoff, or SECO, the kick stage with its payload will enter a coasting phase as it orbits Earth, preparing to deploy today's payload. 